All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to episode 28. Gotta run the UPS real quick after this. So I'm just gonna sell a couple of shoes real quick that just came in, so I gotta go ship them out. First shoe right here, we got a Nike flat or blazer, brick swag size 10 and a half. And as you can see right here, we got the one wing blazers. You can see the design all around. Kind of similar to the forces, but still a lot of differences. I like the color scheme on these better than on the forces, to be honest. If they had put this exact color scheme on the forces, it would have been way better. But then you see on the midsole, got that flower on the midsole. Some kind of white, maybe like Japanese or Chinese on the other side, not really sure. Comes with the same replacement laces, if I can get them out. You can see it comes with the blue and the purple. Got Wuhan ring on the tongue right there. Nike sign on the back. Same midsole as the Air Force One with the Nike right there. Got the purple sole. So I am kind of in the blazers. I do have off-white blazers, personal. If these were a 10, maybe I'd consider keeping them because blazers fit big on me, so I need a 10. But since they're a 10 and a half, I sold them. Made a couple dollars profit, so just gonna get rid of these and move on to the next shoe. But yeah, I got the Wuhan Wang blazers, size 10.5. And then for the other suit unboxing, got a Kobe 5 Procho in a size 10. And as you can see right here, we got a pair of the Zebra Kobe Pochos. On the initial drop, I did take an L just because Rust didn't work, unfortunately. But when Sue Palace switched to Shopify, they had restocked some stuff, so I was able to go on a sign cop. Ended up getting a size 14 in the Japan ones, the uh, gray, like neutral gray ones. And then got two pairs of these in a size 10, 11. This is the 10 right here. You can see that gray and white checkerboard colorway all around. Then when you look on the toe box and on the side, you can see that like gray like zebra stripes, thing like that. Got the black Nike shoes on both sides. Black Kobe uh, logo right down the tongue. Got the uh, insole right there. Gray sole with the black Kobe logo again. Nike zoom on the sole, you know. But overall, uh, I would say pretty plain, just like color wise, cause you know, it's all gray. Gray is pretty, pretty dope color. So this is probably the plainest COVID that they've released so far, which is also why it sells for the least. Only making like $34 a pair off these, so not much, but you know, it's still money, especially given that I was able to cop two of these pairs relatively easy, no queue or anything on Shoe Palace when they switched over. So happy I was able to finally get these. Brings me back on my COVID streak of getting every single COVID for retail. And yeah, happy to have it in. So they got the Kobe 5 Proto Zebras in the size 10. Yeah, for tomorrow, we got the uh, Carbon 350 dropping. Prices aren't looking that good on them, but I have a buyer confirmed for any pairs I get size 4 through 8.5, so it's gonna be going for that. I'll probably do face cam for that drop. First time I've done face cam in a while. For this drop, the goal is to hopefully be able to get like 100 pairs. With my setup, I feel like it's possible to do any with the stock, because stock's pretty high. So yeah, so let's see if I can pull it off. I can't even see I can't even see all my tasks on fucking West that's how many fucking statuses there are all stacked up. <laughs> see if anything happens. I I didn't check card. Hang with PayPal already. My phantom. I got Don't one card. Yeah, I see I got a couple cards. I got some ordering and stuff. Wait, I got a decline hold? Wait, what the f oh PayPal declined me. Alright, so I hate on Fargo. Yeah, so. Alright, it's got a couple pairs. Yeah, you just hit two. Oh, you just checked out on Cyber. Subzit. Oh, Subzit? Yeah. I'm stuck in completing order on Phantom. I'm on, I have okay. three right now, I think. Yeah, I got three. I have, right now. I have two right now. Oh, that's got another pair. Oh, I love that Toro checkout noise. It's amazing. Oh my god, that like Yeah, I got another one. Wait, I got- Oh, I hit- I hit my personal on full locker. Oh wait, what? Right. Oh shit, I got- I just got like, six at once. What the fuck? I have three carded, four carded. I think I got like 15 right now, I can't even tell. I just carded another one on chance. Bro, I haven't hit in a whole minute. What's going on, man? Tip prism. All right, finally another checkout. I bet Dude, size why? Two, that's a bet. Literally, Wopat is doing absolutely nothing, bro. Do I have any more cards on Phantom? Oh, I just got another PayPal decline. I'm about to stop and fucking get rid of all these PayPal tasks, bro. I'm just hoping this stuff's sticking. I still haven't looked at my emails or anything. Nah, no, I mean, oh, JD's Sports just picked up for me. South and, and Finish don't work together, bro. Two pairs, that's more great 
Oh, so I just got two more grade school shit. I just got seven on champs all at once. What the? Bro, I'm cooking champs right now. I just got eight pairs all at once. Oh, wait, maybe seven. Yeah. One just disappeared from the list. That's weird. Three on, on champs right now, submitting order. Yeah, champs hidden right now. I'm getting endless on champs right now. Yeah, I just hit one of champs. Yeah, them bitches flowing in right now, bro. bro I must have got like all the cards or something. Champs, men's, or GS? Oh, I carded it now. Both. Uh -huh. I got like eight GS and like four men's just now. Oh, see, I got another. I got two more GS. Alright, let me see. Damn, well, I'm definitely getting some PV. Shit. Oh, I heard a prison. Yeah, I just got a side okay. two. Yeah, I just got a side four. Prism's at 15, Cyber's at 10, Adam's at 2. Mm -hmm. All right, what's going on, guys? Um, obviously, right now, you probably be expecting to see footage of my YS cops for the carbon, but unfortunately, in editing, it's based. The footage is basically uneditable. I'm not really sure what happened. I had done one recording, four-hour recording of the entire drop from foot sites to win. YS went out of stock. Foot sites uh, footage is editable, no problem. But for some reason, the um, for some reason the foot side footage is extremely laggy in playback. No matter what settings I change stuff, I can't get it to change. So it's very hard for me to try and watch through like an hour of footage and try and cut through to all the checkouts. When as soon as I press play, like I, it only shows me like one frame, like every two seconds. So. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use that footage for the video at all, so I just have to scrap it all together. But yeah, as you can see in like the clip that's been playing, you can see like an example of what I mean of how lagging, how skippy it is basically to show you how I can't really edit it at all. So yeah, I have a loop playing of the checkout, so you can see all the checkouts I got. And I'm also going to put all the checkouts on the screen. So, well, I'll put a screen size of like the webhook and stuff, so you can see all the checkouts I got throughout the uh, throughout the entire drop. But yeah, once again, apologize for not being able to uh, show the wise footage. Obviously, I recorded it with the intention of using it, but unfortunately, there's nothing I can really do in this scenario. Yeah, it's gonna make the video also a lot shorter than I wanted it to be might be a good thing maybe people stick around longer maybe not i don't know but yeah once again sorry about that not much i can do but yeah i hope you enjoy the uh the rest of the video what's going on guys so carbon drop went okay i mean i had like 175 checkouts but Unfortunately, PV wasn't on my side once again, like with the bow hacks only. 57 of those orders stuck. Well, I have to restock and stuff, we're more towards like 60 something pairs, something like that. Be yeah, only like 33% of the orders sticking, which is really low percentage, obviously. Not sure why I'm getting here with PV like this. It only seems to happen on the really big drops. Seems like with less stock, it doesn't really happen. But one thing I did notice is that midway through the drop, I had started running my Yeezy Supply profiles on foot sites and noticed that more of those orders actually stuck there with my foot side profiles which I usually get no PV so I'm thinking for the next drop which should be like the Jordan 1 Lucky Greens the women's colorway um thinking I'll probably run my YS profile probably run my Supreme ones too which is like very heavily jigged and then run the regular foot and then see what happens there see what sticks it might have to be just one of the bunch of different profiles and hope for the best yeah got a lot of things to unbox so let's get into them first thing right here a pair of Vans OG Authentic size nine and a half and as you can see right here, we got a pair of the CDG Vans. Uh, got these from CDG Restock a couple weeks ago. They finally shipped out. As you can see, CDG print all over. Vans tag right there. CDG on the toe as well. Got the classic 
Not sure what kind of bottom this is, but you know, classic Vans bottom. Vans original on the insole. Off the wall originals on the back. Then you take the box right here. Only thing that's special, I think, besides how the box opens, I don't know if Van box is open like this. I don't know in any Vans, obviously. Got CG on the top. And I think that's really about it. But yeah, I'm not a big Vans person, especially like uh, like a low cut like this. Definitely not my style, but the CDZ print all around is pretty cool. And it's selling for a decent amount, so happy I had decent hair. Yeah, got the CDG band, size 9.5. Next up, got a women's Air Jordan 1 mid, size 10.5. Right here, got a pair of the uh, barely orange Jordan 1 mids. Um, I think these released on the same day as the Bad Bunny Crocs. Finish line had released some mids and stuff, so I was able to get four pairs of these. So as you can see, got that uh, barely orange colorway. It's kind of like a creamish color, or maybe like a, like a light tan. Then you see got the black shoes on both sides, got black toe box, got the uh, like the cream color with drawn there right there, black wings logo, got that same cream colored sole. Overall, clean colorway. I'd say if this was on a high, it'd probably sell, probably like $200, but you know, mids don't really go for that much. This is pretty small money. I'll make like $20, $30 a pair. So quick money on some mids, you know. But yeah, I got the, Women's Air Jordan 1 mid, barely on size 10F. All right, next up, Easy Boo 350B2, size 7. And as you can see right here, so everyone's been waiting for, uh, Easy Boo 350B2 carbons. So you see that black and like grayish color all around. I think it's like more of a blue, but I guess you could say gray. Got the gum sole. The deed is easy on the insole. I mean, you see the boots and everything. But yeah, I, I like this colorway. I did manage to get my size on the restock because I wasn't running my size initially. It was only running four through eight and a half. But yeah, I got my size on the restock, so might keep these. Gotta see it and put it on foot and see how I feel. But overall, pretty clean colorway, you know, can't go wrong with an all black easy. And resale should go up kind of quick over time just because, you know, all black. I mean, easy to wear with anything, really. Yeah, I got the. It is easy 350B2 carbon, size 7. Next up right here, just so the bag got the Bad Bunny Crocs. This is a size 4 right here. Won't take this out of the bag because I already sold this pair. So I don't want to open it and disrespect the buyer. I know he would like it to be open. But as you can see, hopefully, you can see all the giblets just right there in the Crocs. And the white pair of Crocs. And these also glow in the dark. I haven't actually tried that yet, but apparently they're supposed to glow in the dark. But yeah, um, thought these were gonna only sell for like 200, so I was going for them. I ended up getting three pairs. And then it turns out that they actually were selling for more. I sold this pair for 400 in particular, this size four right here. So Bad Bunny got a pretty big following and happy I was able to take advantage of that with these Crocs. I'd never wear a pair of Crocs. Like it's something I'd never do. So I don't really understand the hype behind them, but hey, I mean, they each their own, you know? I can't really judge someone else on what they like. Got the Bad Bunny Crocs right here, size four. And then for the final shoe in the unboxing, you gotta say the best for last. Well, I think it's the best at least. I got the Nike Air Rubber Dunk off right in a size 11 and a half. And as you can see right here, we got a pair of the uh, black and green US colorway of the off the rubber dunks. Yeah, I did strike out on this one, but he who sat out the DSM, was able to get a bunch of pairs off them. Got uh, five pairs in total. And they came in pretty quick. But as you can see, got the, you know, the black all around. As you can see, got the green shoes. Pretty unique is that there's nothing in the middle here, so it's just like the outline of the shoes, which is pretty cool. See that same type of outlining all over the shoe. Got Nike on the back right there. Nike off on the tongue. You come to look at the actual laces, comes with a pair of green laces right here. And then if you look on the insole, pretty unique insole right there. Got the green sole. And then the other thing that's unique is actually the hang tag. As you can see, this is an orange off-white hang tag. And it doesn't actually say off white or anything. It's like a like a felt feeling type one. So pretty unique um, hang tag. I think this is the first one they've used. Well, not hang tag, zip tie, I should say. I think it's the first time they used this type on the shoe itself. So pretty cool. And as you can see, also got the usual text on the side, even though you can't really read it on this shoe. But it does say off white, you know, uh, rubber, rubber dunk, everything like that. And then I just noticed the tongue is actually really spongy. Hopefully if you can get a look right there, it's like really thick. I can't really pull it out because of the shoe is laced, but really thick tongue right there. Overall, I mean, to be honest, I think these are pretty ugly. I did get my size in these, but I wouldn't keep them just because I'm not a fan of the shoe. And I don't really keep things for hype. I keep it more as a, it's a mixture of hype and that I like it. Cause I don't really keep GRs like that, but I don't keep things just cause it's hype. Gotta be like a good, in between, you know. And since I'm not really a big fan of these, I won't keep them, but I am happy I was able to overcome my L on the initial drop and get some of these in hand as well. And yeah, I got the off-white rubber dunk right here, black green colorway, size 11 and a half.